Hi, I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. I'm gonna show you our brand new selector tool with its new design, with its amazing custom selector features. Before I do that though, I wanna thank Boris, I want to thank Simon, and I want to thank Rizwan, who've worked so hard to get this feature ready for release. I've got the fun part, I get to show you just how cool it is. Okay, let's pretend I'm trying to automate this login form, this Instagram login form. I've got an interact step. I'm just going to go to page and enter the phone, text, password. I'm not gonna run, bother running the bot. I just wanna show you setting up the um, click element step using the, the new single selector tool. So naturally I've come to a point when I need to click on the login button. Let me show you the, the different ways I could approach that. So first of all, I can do it the really easy way. I can just press select click on the button, boom, it's set up. Now, could press confirm and Axiom will do the click on page now, but I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna press cancel. So I've made, made the selection there. Nine times out of 10, that is going to work for you, but occasionally you're going to find, because of websites are all different, pages change, elements move around, you might have an issue with the bot and it's not clicking the button. How can you troubleshoot that? Well, that's why we've built these new custom selector features that I'm gonna show you now, because it will help you unstick yourself, or unblock when you can't click on a button. I'm gonna press select. Now, I could try, first of all, just reselecting, but I'm gonna dive straight in and click on this brand new button here, custom. Just shuffle myself up, and you're gonna see we've got this brand new bit of UI. It's incredible, the power in here is amazing. I'm gonna show you some neat tricks that will get you over over many humps and help you with your browser automation so first of all on the left we've got the um, selector editor here this is pretty cool because I can just dive in and test my selectors out now if you're familiar with CSS selectors you're gonna love this tool if you're a beginner beginner you're gonna love this tool because it allows you to experiment with CSS selectors on the page you get feedback because the element once it's found will change color to orange so it really allows you to dive in there, open the Chrome, Chrome tools to inspect the page and look for classes yourself to, to help you with your building your bots. Because within the CSS in the HTML, there's always something unique that allows you to find an element. For example, here we've got an attribute selector that we can use and I'll show you that in a second. What else? On the right here, we actually suggest alternative selectors for you, so you can try these out. Now, we've got an algorithm that tries to identify unique selectors, so give them a go. If, if the original point and click doesn't work, just try these alternatives or try and work them out, work them out yourself. Now, another useful trick is this one. Use text element instead of HTML. Look, you can see I've got the text here, login. Now, if I just type that in, it's highlighted the button because it's found the element on the page via the text. I find this really useful. So if a button has a unique bit of text in, you can just type in the text and Axiom will find it, sign up. It finds the sign up button. I press complete, my selection is done. I can carry on building the rest of the bot. That's pretty damn awesome but I'm not finished showing you yet, so I'm gonna go back into custom. Now, you've seen that you can select the element, elements with text, but you can also pass data straight into the button selector. So you can pass that data from a Google Sheet, a webhook, wherever you want. Why is that useful? Well, if you've got many repeating buttons on a page, you could store the selectors on a, in a Google Sheet, for example, then loop through those buttons. That would be useful when, for example, trying to automate a calendar. You could work out the classes for the different dates. You could have rows and assign those classes to those rows and just loop through them, clicking on the different dates, adding your events. That's a pretty powerful solution. Okay, that's the new selector tool. It's pretty incredible. Please do get in touch if you need any further help. Enjoy, thank you.